It's so funny. <clears throat> I'm waiting for the bus as usual. And another public transportation rider said, as another bus arrived, thank the Lord right on time. And it's funny because I was thinking the exact same thing walking to the bus just now. I was thinking, damn, four years ago, I knew I had a great story to tell, but I didn't have the emotional presence to tell it. And now I do have the emotional presence to tell it. You know, I really wanted a teaching job because I have a lot of time on my hands and I'm used to doing a lot of things, but I'm also used to dialoguing with people. You know, it stimulates my brain. I mean, that's why I was a teacher professionally. You know, it's like a monkey. If you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. If you stimulate my brain, I'll stimulate yours. You know, but there's nothing more powerful than that connection between people, right? And seeing how these youngsters I'm working with are struggling so hard, right? To say letters and sounds that many of us take for granted, you know? That's why teaching has always been so humbling for me. You know, because it always shows me the limits of what I know on the one hand. It shows me how far I've come on the other. That's why I take my health very seriously. I rarely get sick. Here and there, I'll pick up a case of the sniffles, an upset stomach, but I'm rarely done for the count, my friends. The last time was all the way back in December 2019, a delayed reaction to a flu shot. Is this my bus? No, it's not in service, but sometimes they pick up passengers anyway. I don't know if any of this is usable. This is usable. So funny, I woke up today and after tossing and turning, I finally thought, you know what? Let me just turn that old noggin on and start processing the day. And I started writing about how I wanted my hole filled in a certain way. And that was the beginning of my journey, my friends. But you know, a camera is also a hole. an aperture. This bus is going to Art Center 51. But that's the thing, people. I wanted my hole. I didn't feel like I had had the kind of sex that I wanted to have. Now I've had the kind of sex that I've wanted to have, you know, and I get it. Now I understand, you know, chastity cages, okay? I get it. 
I don't believe in cages, but I understand the concept, right? Because sometimes you just want to forget about it, you know? It's like, as I've always said in my stand-up act, I've had my hole filled so many times, all of my holes filled so many times, that I don't care anymore. You know, what fills my hole now is writing my story about how I wanted to get fisted and then decided actually that I wasn't gonna get fisted unless I got fisted and nobody told me because again, I don't study my ass anatomy. Do you? You know, it's like I have a slightly misformed penis, you know? It's very common, a lot of guys do. No guy has ever, 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 ever said anything to me about it. Because it's barely noticeable, number one. And number two, most guys can't tell their dick from their pussy. You know, they can't tell their pussy from their pussy. They can't tell their hole from their hole, you know? What a piece of work is man. Right? Always wanting that nut and then you get the nut, you know? It's like, what do I want now? Not come, right? I want money, honey. I want cash money and lots of it. And back to the beginning of this tape. Thank the Lord, right on time. I am right on time now and everything is so peaceful. I didn't even clock in today. I got to work so early to review my notes because that was the best subway ride plus bus ride combination. The courtyard where I work is beautiful. I just sat out there reviewing my notes getting into my performance mode. And then I met with my first student and yeah, I did get concerned that I didn't know what I was gonna do, but then I got through the first hour and then the second hour of the different student, I knew that I was going to be able to get through that because I've been working with that student and also is in person and I'm so much better in person than I am online. I finally feel ready to tell my story. Which is to say the story is finally ready to be old because when the writing's flowing the writing's flowing and right now the writing's flowing let me not say anymore let me not jinx myself Dodger Stadium Express 8401 I like the way that bus is dressed I like the way this exfoliating serum is working. It's a new one. It's getting deep into my pore structure. Oh yes, and I started to work on my address of flesh in Hortense Spillers. Mama's baby, Papa's maybe, an American 
grammar book, a master work of 20th century thought across borders that I'm going to be able to pick up and advance much further than I initially anticipated. Thanks to what? Thanks to time, my friends. It's customary to drop your dissertation in a drawer, digital or otherwise, after submitting it. Well, I dropped mine in a drawer digitally for four years. And now I'm writing a memoir about how I managed to produce it. And then how I managed to implement the findings as a critical race theorist turned method actor. As I've said for a long time on Twitter, the state of Israel is a white supremacist state. It's there hand in hand with the white supremacist states of the United States of America and the United Kingdom and Australia, but not South Africa. That's what decolonization does, my friends. And not just changes the facts on the ground, it changes the consciousness of things. And by things, of course, I mean people. Not things at all which don't have feelings because they're inanimate. Here comes my bus, I do believe. Ciao for now.